Have you ever seen so many help wanted signs in your life? Everywhere you turn, there's a help wanted. There's somebody in need of someone doing the work that is needed to be done, whether it is in the church, whether it is in a corporation, or whether it is at a fast food place, help wanted is everywhere. This morning, we're continuing our series about leadership and we're going to deal with help wanted, leadership needed, leadership needed. Well, good morning, everybody. What a wonderful morning it is. Good morning, Tony. How are you this morning? Good morning, Betty. How are you? Grand morning to you. What an excellent morning it is. Got a word for you on this morning talking about leadership. One of my favorite subjects. Amen. Just enjoy talking about leadership. Uh, that's why I got my um, PhD in organizational leadership. So uh, I want to deal with leadership this week. want to talk about leadership this week. And uh, Brenda and Joel, that's what I want to drill down on. Help wanted, help wanted, leadership is needed. Leadership is needed. Now, before I give you the text, the talk, and the takeaway, here's some things I need you to do. Put your comments in the chat area. Put your comments in the chat area. Share them, man, and don't keep it to yourself. If it's your first, second, or third time joining us, please let us know who you are, where you are, so I can shout you out. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Angela. How are you on this morning? Sheratina, how are you guys on this morning? Hey, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Help wanted. Help wanted. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you look, you see nothing but help wanted signs everywhere. And you're wondering, my God, how is it that there can be this many jobs going wanting? Well, it's the same thing that we find in Judges 1 and 1. It's the same thing we find in Judges 1 and 1. I want you to look there. Here it is. It says, after the death of Joshua, notice this, he is their leader, he dies. The Israelites asked the Lord, who will be the first to go up and fight for us against the Canaanites? In other words, we need a leader. We need a leader. Joshua has passed on his transition. He's no longer here. And we need a leader. Now, the book of Judges is full of incidents in which leadership is needed. So if you ever wanted to find out about biblical leadership, you want to read the book of Judges. Each chapter reveals one need after another for leadership to step up. So this is what I would need you to see in scripture. This isn't the first nor the last time that God is asking for somebody to step up. The first time that we want to share with you is in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9. The Lord searches all the earth. He searches all the earth for people who have given themselves completely to him. He goes to and fro looking for someone that has completely given themselves to him. God is looking for leadership. God is looking for leadership. Here's the second thing I want you to grab, Ezekiel 22 and 30. Ezekiel 22 and 30 says, I look for anyone to repair the breach and could not find one. I looked, Ezekiel talking, when I looked at the breach I looked everywhere and couldn't find anybody to step up with leadership. Come here, Adam, have a seat and testify this morning. God showed up in the Garden of Eden. He says, Adam, where are you? I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for leaders. You and I have influence that has been given to us by Holy Spirit when we accept Jesus as our personal savior. You have the ability to influence people, which is the basic definition of leadership. And God is in search of leaders. So what's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this, stop hiding. <laughs> stop hiding, man of fam, and lead. Stop hiding and lead. There is a situation out there awaiting your leadership. Well, we're going to continue to talk about leadership on tomorrow morning. So uh, share the matter if it bless you. Bless somebody else. Don't keep it to yourself. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more Morning Matter. Bye now.